Okay, hello everyone. So we literally just got done recording this month's calendar episode, and then I go open a Discord server, and the banner's out. So yay us. Um, <laughs> we're gonna react. That, to I it. mean, we're still here. Do you do you lose points for that because you guessed that it was tomorrow that it would come? I don't think so. <laughs> Listen, I'm ar we already know I'm going to lose this. I lose most of these. Just give this one to me. <laughs> well, Joel, are you ready to go? Yeah, just count us down. Three, two, one, go. And also, I already know who's on this banner because I saw the title. <laughs> it's New Heroes. Yes. Wait, wait, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> so now you know everyone who's on this banner. Oh don't you? my! Oh, that's amazing. So how are they gonna do it? What? How are they gonna do? This will be fun. Oh, sea duel infantry. Oh, okay. And what, there's what fell, was, that was fell what play. What was that? Um, he can teleport in place of other units. Oh my god. And he also has Kanto. That's um. Wow. He is fantastic in three houses. It's crazy. I want oh to see my how they're oh, getting her, amazing. too. Oh, I love this so much. Of course she's of course she's a red don't fly. Oh, she's, I mean, got that, a, that's... she's got a parasol, so there is absolutely no um, logical issues. <laughs> they explain it away. <laughs> how, how do you play the... Um, have you played the DLC for Three Houses? Yes. Yeah. Cool. So, I've played it through a couple times. Yeah. Awesome. People keep their distance from me. Beast unit. Beast unit. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, she's competing with Reinhardt. De oh, demonic tome. Wow, that's a lot of effectiveness. Yeah. Better you than me. And she does not double, which means she probably has a very similar speed to Reinhardt. But I mean, there's Kanto. Um, can she take on Fallen Edelgard? I mean, that's really the question. That is the question. Yet. We don't know yet. <laughs> yet another new hero. I love. It sounds so tired. Yet another new hero. <laughs> Here is your anime boy. Why the shoes? I. I it's, just. It's a humanoid pantser. Okay, for anyone who hasn't seen it, it's a humanoid pantser. Anyways, Ooh, here's Dragon Ball. God, I, I, I mean, yeah, his transformed art looks amazing. I, uh, yeah. His dragon form. I, I make fun of him, but I do like all of his art. I think he's a very interestingly designed character. Oh, Fafnir's Whoa. fallen. Oh, boy. Oh, and then, yeah, obviously, no surprise, the um, GHB unit is going to be Balthus. Balti is here. Oh, he's a three, four star, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, so, nice. is it going to be the Simp, then? Is that who's going to be the GHB unit? I don't know. What is... Um, yep, Elfric. Elfric's gonna be the GHB. Nice! Literal okay. Simp. I, I, got, I got sucked in. I thought there was more, and it was just a Celestial Stone. It gets you every <laughs> time. I every it. single time. Oh, look, it's suggesting one of our videos. Oh, excellent. Um, anyways, so let's go back and look at all these units. Our first unit is Yuri. Um, I don't, I don't even know. This is this is amazing. Um, yeah. I mean, other than Sea Duel Infantry Four, I I don't. Who do you even put that on? Legault. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're of talking course, about. Your course, Legault. Yeah. <laughs> So, see, All right. yeah, Sea Duel Infantry times Pulse Glimmer. Foul play is huge. This is a three range swap. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let, let's let's not do foul play. Let's go back. At start of at start of turn, unit can move one extra space. Yes. What? Did, wait. At start of turn. Yeah, that, that means turn only. He's he's a cavalry unit in everything but name. <laughs> At start of turn, that turn only. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Who writes these things? 
Um, wow. Okay, he's so, gonna be a speedy yeah. boy. Yeah. So he, yeah, like I said, he's a horse. Um, he has special cooldown count minus one in general, which puts him down to a one turn glimmer. He has three movement, and also Canto two. And at start of combat, if he has more, if foe has more than half health, grants attack speed plus six during combat. Jeez. And then on top of that three movement and Canto two, he has foul play, which is swap with a range of three. What does that What does that look like? I'm. Yeah, let's, I, let's go back. But actually, I was wondering how they're going to do this because this implementation of foul play has a lot of the same issues that I've been having trying to design siege tomes. If they figured out a way to do this, then maybe we can start getting siege tomes in the game the right way. That is, that is some incredible movement. Un wow. Yeah, it's it's nice. He's going to definitely be the most interesting unit on this banner, without question. So Okay, but he didn't he doesn't get an extra turn when he swapped. He no, just he doesn't. Swapped. That's correct. This isn't But any... he can swap in Canto. <laughs> yes. That's such that that is a huge amount of movement. Which means that he can literally have eight movement if you set it up right. Three range so spell play, three regular movement, two canto. This is like the return of hit and run. It's what they're trying to do. Because they, they oh, did it with right. Harmonic Leaf, and they're doing it with this unit. You stick um uh, oh oh what do you call the uh we were just talking about Laram. Uh, her B skill, uh, um, uh, where she the the trap disabler. Yeah. You you Disable run trap, him in. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's oh great. <laughs> <laughs> so you run him in, you you knock someone in the mouth, and then you run back to the safety fence. Uh -huh. So you take out one unit, and then basically you've got a six on six. Excellent. So, um, are we going to be having a Yuri's Busted video coming? Oh, he's, he's I don't probably, know. I, he's probably not going to be that busted. But he does work not. well with the new meta. I think he's neat. I, I don't think he's like... Uh, it, Harmonic Seliph is on a, on a whole other plane. Uh, and as it should be. I mean, he's a six-star unit. <laughs> but this is, this is still really neat. I, I would put this on the same level as Layla. Yeah, that's fair. I actually put it you know, put him a little above Layla, I almost think. Well, I, I guess at the time, you know, when oh, Layla yeah. came Le out. When Layla came out, mechanic. yes. Actually, Layla's still really good, too. If any of you have her but aren't using her these days, I've been using her in AR. I highly suggest it. She is excellent right up until the time she sees a far save armor. Yes, but um, that's why you have your armor counters. <laughs> exactly. Um, that's interesting. So, so you, you'd probably set her, set him up the same way you would set up a Layla. Yeah, I think so. That would make sense. Except he can't just swap with one person. He can swap with whoever he wants. That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is straight up power creep, and I both love and hate it at the same time. I'm okay, I'm okay with this. This is really neat. Um, I, I, um, I won't be able to summon on this banner because I spent all my orbs. Um, but I am, that, that's, that's cool. Uh, do you want to move on to, uh, I, I can't Constance. do names today. I am Constance. <laughs> I, I've wanted, I've wanted Ash and Wolves for so long. This is so cool. Yeah. I'm glad they're finally in. So Constance um, I, I used, Noble. I used Constance in every playthrough I had. Just, you know, stick her on a, on a, uh, on a flying horse and off she goes. All right, so harsh command plus attack speed push four. Have we not had attack speed far trace? Usually, attack speed is like the first thing that comes in. Well, the trace skills are so new, though. Eh, I guess that's fair. And then speed res rain three. It's pretty clear what like this is the fodder unit for this banner. She's fantastic fodder. I need that far trace. Um, but her. Oh, weapon, did you? I haven't read okay, it yet. Okay, go ahead. Agnia's arrow. 
grants speed plus three. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus six to unit during combat, neutralizes effects that prevent units follow-up attacks, neutralize foes bonuses to speed and resistance, and on odd numbered turns, neutralize units penalties to attack speed up. Oh, all that happens on odd numbered turns, on even numbered turns. Um, neutralize units penalties to attack speed. So. I, I like, I, I like that. You know, yeah. kind of the nod to her duality. Yeah, we definitely need to have some kind of odd even turn thing with her. There's no way we wouldn't. Um, now, for the, anyone who hasn't played here, Three Houses, um, whenever she's in the sunlight, well, sorry, whenever she's in the shadow, she is her regular self as you usually see her. Just a pompous, noble, kind of a brat. But then she just gets, like, depressed in the sunlight. It's like oh, multiple personalities. It's, it's not depressed, it's subservient. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that's the better way to put it, yeah. It is definitely... She has absolutely no motivation, absolutely no... Um, there's a word I'm looking for it. But I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. Yeah, what? she's a completely different person. What kills me is this is a spectacular B skill, and it's not her best. Like, this is a wind sweep flyer all the way. Yeah, but, you know, they had to give her the far trace skill because she is the fodder unit, and this is the best fodder, like, B slot fodder they could have added for a far flyer in this. Definitely. Yeah. She, she's more than a fodder unit. Don't say that about but Constance. But she, <laughs> she is a fantastic, like, look at her kit. Every oh, it's, it's single piece of that kit is fodder, and you know it. It's 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 absolutely fantastic. Um, what's sad, you could get you could get two of these, but not three. Yeah, I mean, if you get attack, our harsh commander attack speed push, and then you probably can, the trace skill. Maybe probably the trace rank. because she's the only one that has that trace skill still. It's a fantastic <laughs> trace skill. Yeah, it is. Shall we move on? Is it bad that I want to give that trace skill to Naga? Um, <laughs> yes, because it's a far trace. Oh, because it's far trace. That's completely... I need a near trace for her. Yes, I, yeah. that, okay. yes that, that's how weapons work. <sighs> on to happy. Yes. Also, can I just say I love the like Constance's weapon? Um, the animation. It's good. Alright, moving on. Um, Brawn I, I outside. Used Happy. Go ahead. I or used the heck out of Agnia's arrow. That was that was like one of my favorite skills. Yeah, that was a that was great in that game. So she only has four skills. Um, AR Far Trace, Attack Res Catch Four, which is new, Glimmer, and her weapon. Demonic Tome, which is effective against all dragon and beast foes. Um, so yeah, earlier, Joel, you were talking about if she could kill Fatal or not. No. Um, <laughs> it started turn a special cooldown count is at its maximum value. Grant special cooldown count minus one. At start of combat, if his HP is greater than equal to 25%, grants attack res plus 16 at during combat. Yeah, she wasn't built as a Fatal counter. Well, maybe. I Maybe with... No, never mind. If she gets attack I, I, res would... plus six, she's not a fatal counter. Yeah, there's no way. It is nice. I mean, that basically, she has glimmer proc instantly. Yes. Like that. That's a fantastic tome. I, oh yeah, literally because she gets accelerate special trigger, and then Ed started turn. So yeah, she just yeah. starts with that. Uh. Yeah, she's got slaying and uh, basically times pulse in her tome. Yeah. So, yeah, this really looks like it's... She's more of a dragon counter, like one of those um, distant counter dragons. I think that's what they're kind of going but, for with her. But why do you put beast on there if it's not going to... Eh, anyway. Just There's only one beast not? unit. There's one beast unit. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I guess... What if they make Alfric a beast unit? Oh, man, that would be awesome. It would. Uh, it's just an idea. Um, but anyways, she 
She looks pretty good. Um, I don't really have any reason to use her, though. No. I mean, if I got her on a free pull, I'd use her. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I, I wouldn't summon for her. And I probably still wouldn't use her over my plus 10 Reinhardt. No. <laughs> Are you ready for for funny shoes guy? Let it burn. <laughs> like that voice just, just doesn't fit with everything else. No. I I <laughs> I halfway expected to be like high pitched. Let it burn. <laughs> So, Flame Lick Breath grants attack plus 3. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants attack speed def res plus 5 to unit during combat, and foe cannot recover HP during or after combat. So that's um, Fatal Smoke right there. Well, it's not smoke, yep. but Fatal Attack. Um, plus a Spectrum, plus 5. If unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, at start of combat... Um, after combat, if you unit attack, inflicts deep wounds, which is fatal smoke again, on target and foes within two spaces of target. So yeah, that that right there is straight up fatal smoke. Oh yeah. Um, if so we've got the spectrum plus five. Mm -hmm. All units have to have that. And and fatal smoke. I mean, that's it's a great tome. Yeah. Well, it's not a tome. It's a breath, but. Breath, yeah. And then rally up attack plus ARD defense res four. I'm actually surprised we haven't had that one yet, but oh well. Actually, I guess well, we only we... just started getting ARD fours, haven't yeah. we? That's why. For um, the one extra point. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say we fight. I'm happy we finally have Dragon Wall in the regular pool. Yes. It's been a long time coming, and I, I've already given Dragon Wall to the unit I want to have it, but still. And then Domain of Flame. Grants attack defense plus four. The effect, if unit's attack is greater than foe's res during combat, unit's first attack deals damage equal to 30% of unit's attack minus foe's res to allies within two spaces during combat. If unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack defense plus four to unit during combat. And also, if unit's attack is greater than foe's res during combat, unit's first attack deals damage equal to 30% of unit's attack minus foe's res. That's a lot. All right, let's let's unpack this slowly. He's, All right, he's an AOE unit. Attack defense plus four or four. Great. If and, unit's attack is greater than foe's res during yeah, this is literally just one of the AOE specials, but as a C skill. Okay. And then That's awesome. if he's within two spaces of an ally, he gets attack defense plus four, and also that AOE also affects the unit he's actually attacking. That's that's fantastic. Yeah, it is. Let go of my foot. <laughs> Just puppies. She's very Summoners, cute. We are not. Mess. We are not in the same room, so I did not grab his foot. No, it was not Joel. It, it was the puppy. <laughs> I really need to start milking this dog for content. Probably yes. All right. Anyway, so yeah. Um. It's a good, unique C skill. That's a great unit. Yes. Um, I'd say he looks better than Niffle. Um, Niffle has the added damage reduction and the flash effect. That is, is true. Damage reduction is kind of broken right now. It's it's nice. Um, and also, I guess that damage reduction specifically protects against Domain of Flame. I mean, this guy just hits hard. Good God. Yeah, he's... I mean, what's his... Just from the base kit, what's his maximum attack bonus? Plus three, plus five is eight. Um, and then we're going to be getting plus 11 from ARD Def Res. Yep. So that's 19. Domain of Flame is going to be 23. Um, 27 if you, within two spaces of an ally. Plus 27 to attack. And he's a cav. Mm. I just... <laughs> this is going to be interesting. 
<sighs> I, I, good luck for anyone who, who has a tank. <laughs> this thing is coming at you. Like, plonking has just become so much harder. <laughs> yeah. But you know, that's the way of the game. It is. And from there, we have our, in our instant demo, Balthus, who pretty much deconfirms gauntlets again. Because he has an axe. I know. That's just sad. I, I don't blame them because, like we've been talking, I've been trying to do a video about gauntlets and Faye for weeks, but they would be so hard to balance. It's crazy. I'm having yeah. such a hard time with it. <sighs> All right, there's our banner. Yeah. Are you pulling? I've got like eight orbs. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not pulling. Even I'm, though the I mean the color share is nice between yeah. uh, Moose Bell and Constance, but still. Yeah, I'm probably going to free summon for Yuri, but that's about it. Uh, same. I, I Yuri is. He's just going to be a Yuri fun unit. Unique. We have so many units that spit out an amazing amount of damage, and these are just two more red ones that do that. Yeah. This is a unit with, like, movement shenanigans. Movement shenanigans are the best. I love movement shenanigans. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, yeah. I guess that's that. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I... Good luck with your polls if you're pulling on these. Yep, tell us in the comments if you're going to be pulling. Um, and, I mean, Ashen Wolves, finally, that is hype. I, I absolutely love this. Um, oh, actually, you know I what? That's going to be board. making some people very happy in the summoning pool, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, um, Moon already got it. Um, Husky's in the lead. I'm sure this shocks you. Well, he, he, he's unbeatable now. He has he had such a good start. There's, Ilya there's no and Mori are only two points behind him. Oh, really? Yeah. And then your oh, they, they you, GM, and Gaia are only one point behind them. Oh, man. You're it only three quick, points from Husky. It? You can do this. <laughs> I have six points. I'm not going to do this. I am in third to last place. Fourth to last place if you can't jackal, but let's be honest. All right, let's let these folks go. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon. Take care. Wait, we didn't even talk about Alfric. Oh, okay. Oh, this kills me. Balthus's name is literally King of Grappling. That's his title. Balthus, King of <laughs> Grappling, uses an axe. <laughs> what a weird deal. Ah. <sighs> I mean, we were just talking about Ash and Wolves, and just like that, they pop up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just going to say this. We are, um, we can tell the future. I, apparently so. Man, they, they really needed this. Like, this, uh, this is hopefully going to pop some life back into, uh, into Faye, at least for a little bit. Yeah, and you know what? That's another, um, that's another four, five, three houses units. Just so that three houses doesn't completely sw um, sweep the uh, sweep the poles in February. Yeah. All right. I I'm done talking now. I'll actually stop the recording.